and welcome to another video. This video isn't music related. This is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be, I have decided to start another little challenge where I inform you about the music I listen to. And a band I feel you guys should listen to. So, my band, the first band of the week, official, the band Minus the Bear. Minus the Bear, I don't know much about because I've just got into them. And when you know if it's Pandora, they'll skip around on CDs. But they have a ton of great CDs. Some are slipping my mind, some aren't. One CD I know is Menos El Oso. And they have a ton of other great CDs. They have some really sick rhythms. I feel bands like Minus the Bear. You're getting good quality, and you're getting instruments, and you're getting some real stuff that you can, like, if you go to a concert, you can really enjoy. And I also, so, also think that of the bands like Minus the Bear out there, there's a lot of, I feel, restored faith for me, because I, you know, I've, I haven't, I don't really listen to what's on the radio as much, and... When I listen to music, it's a lot of music music that I feel isn't really shown in media anymore. And you would have to go to like a concert to really see. So minus the bear, definitely, you know, it's a little bit different, a little bit weird at first, and you'll grow to like them, I feel. But I really do enjoy that they're. Like, I feel they're quite really good musicians. They have some... I'm not sure if they have music videos yet. I didn't really get that far into looking into them. But I've already looked into them maybe two, three weeks. And I'm already a huge fan. I feel like I could sit and listen to Minus the Bear all day. And then they segue. If you, again, Pandora. If you would listen to Pandora... They play bands like Minus the Bear, and a lot of bands I love. Death Cab plays a lot. Phoenix. And a lot of new, maybe not new, new, but kind of bands that maybe started like 2007 to now. And then they play a lot of like Radiohead, and it's something you can really get into. You know, it's something that I feel... I would enjoy as someone who plays instruments and, you know, loves to have music where they have some really good just core rhythms and I don't know why I'm doing this, like a sandwich, <laughs> uh, just a good solid foundation. My Mr. Barry, you can follow them on Twitter, they have a Twitter, so if you want to know about their tour or whatever, I'm sure they have a website, and I would definitely check them out. Next thing I want to discuss is the song of the week. The song of the week, believe it or not, is a song I don't listen to, or an artist I don't listen to a lot, but out of the songs I know, if, you, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably have seen this video. I posted it, but... Then again, I don't think I really watched it. It's Kyoto by Skrillex featuring Sira. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, if it's Sira or Sira. Anyway, it's a really interesting song, and it's kind of cool. It's dubstep. It's not something I, again, something I usually listen to. I listen to things with guitars, more or less, if that's, that would define what I listen to. But I would definitely, I like that song, and I feel, I know they say like dubs that they show them bash your head into your desk, or, but <laughs> it's a really good song, beats really sick, and I like it, so you may not like the song, you may hate it, you may not like Skrillex, fine, but me personally, I feel that's the song of the week. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll put
put it in the description below if you have already figured it out. <laughs> and just to recap, Band of the Week, minus the beer. Check them out, they're great. And they probably put on a really sick live show just from hearing their music. Song of the Week, Kyoto by Skrillex, featuring Syrah or Syrah. And everything you need to know will be in the description below. So the next video you'll see will be either day three, which I still have, I'm still working on, and I I haven't forgotten about the song, trust me. Or another ukulele cover, I'm currently working on Stereo Hearts for ukulele, kind of exciting. So yeah.